forms shall not be released until the concrete has achieved a strength of at least twice the stress to which the concrete may be subjected at the time of removal of form work. In the IS 456-2000 on page number 25, also in the amendment number 5 to IS 456-2000 in 2019, page number 4, the deshuttering period or the stripping time for the RCC structure is mentioned in detail. The deshuttering period to be mentioned in the further video holds good only if the following two criteria or conditions are fulfilled. First is the ambient temperature should not fall below 15 degrees centigrade and second is the adequate curing is done. Before that, my name is Nadeem and if you like the videos I make, please do like, comment and share and don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest video notification. Come on now, let's get started. Over here, you can see the table which you can find in IS 456-2000 page number 25 and IS 456-2019 amendment number 5 on page number 4 as mentioned in the start of the video. This table contains types of form work and minimum period before striking form work. Minimum period before striking form work is divided into two parts. The first is for the concrete made using OPC and the second one is for the concrete made using cement other than OPC or other mineral admixtures like fly ash and slag. The first point defines the time required for the removal of the vertical formwork to the columns, walls and beams. For the concrete made using OPC, the vertical formwork and props of the column can be removed after 16 to 24 hours. Also for the concrete made using cement other than OPC or other mineral admixtures like fly ash and slag, the vertical formwork and props of the column can be removed at the same time as OPC cement after 16 to 24 hours. Second point is soffit formwork to slabs. Soffit formwork to slabs can be removed after 3 days of concreting for concrete made using OPC and after 7 days for concrete made using cement other than OPC. You have to make a note that props has to be refixed immediately after removal of formwork. Third point is soffit formwork to beams. Soffit formwork to beams can be removed after 7 days of concreting for concrete made using OPC and after 10 days for concrete made using cement other than OPC. Again note that props has to be refixed immediately after the removal of formwork. Fourth point is props to slab. Removal time for the props to the slab has been divided into two parts based on the span of the slab. In the first part, if the slab is spanning up to 4.5 meters, the props can be removed after 7 days of concreting for concrete made using OPC and after 10 days for concrete made using cement other than OPC. In the second part, if the slab is spanning over 4.5 meters, the props can be removed after 14 days of concreting for the concrete made using OPC and after 14 days for concrete made using cement other than OPC. Fifth point is props to beams and arches. Removal time for props to the beams and arches has been divided into two parts based on the span of the beam and arches. In the first part, if the beam is spanning up to 6 meters, the props can be removed after 14 days of concreting for concrete made using OPC as well as for the concrete made using cement other than OPC. In the second part, if the beam is spanning over 6 meters, the props can be removed after 21 days of concreting for concrete made using OPC as well as for the concrete made using cement other than OPC. These are the points one should always remember regarding deshuttering and removal of props. I hope you found this video useful. If you like the video, then please like, comment and share and don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest video updates. Thank you for watching.